So today we're cutting with the TMK 300 with optional collector mounted on a Kubota compact track loader. The compact track loader has about 3,500 PSI hydraulic pressure and the TMK 300 has the bigger cylinder. Our purpose of cutting today is to evaluate uh, stem cracking while cutting with a shear. Here you can see it cut flush with the ground. And this is the stump from the tree we just looked at. Okay, let's have a look at the potential cracks in these stems. We have a small one here on the outside of the stem, and we also have one here on this tree. Now this tree was bigger than the blade capacity of the TMK 300, so I had to work it a little bit to get it cut. You'll find if you cut cleanly, such as you can with these and this one, you get a minimal amount of cracking. Let's cut into it and see what this crack actually means and how far it goes. You can see I cut approximately a foot off of this and see the crack just at the base. And after one foot, there's no crack. This one also cut approximately a foot. And again, the log is clear. The smaller ones, again, they're clear as well. So let's have a close up look. No visible cracking in these trees after cutting off about 12 inches. Same on this bigger one, the butt. The butt was quite a bit bigger that we cut. We probably would have been better served to cut it uh, a foot off the ground first. These smaller ones, no cracking, no cracking after a foot.
So here's another tree. It's one of the first ones we cut today. It measures 14 inches. You can see it cracked a little bit here in the bark. Let's cut a foot off and see what, what it looks like. So as we can see, there's no cracks in the stem. With spruce, any cracks, if they have it, seem to be limited to the initial few inches where the shear cut. 